And so Jesus would pass. Amen. And go to Jericho. My brothers and sisters, seeking anything from God, the text reveals that you must have a mindset. Come on, you must have a mindset on the way to church. Not just come as customary, but each time you come to church, you must have a mindset. You must come to worship and to receive a blessing. And so, we are not watching the crowd tonight because God can bless us individually. And He can bless us as a group. Amen. And my blessing tonight is to see others blessed. Hallelujah. And if we are going to be blessing anybody, we will have to first be a blessing. And so, my brothers and sisters, there are a couple of steps that blind Martinus took that we need to somehow adapt that kind of approach in order for us to receive our blessing. No, one, let's look at how you receive the blessing. One, blind Bartimaeus believed the report that he heard. He heard Jesus Christ is the Messiah and has the power Amen. To open his eyes. He understood also that he came from the language of David. Yes. Hallelujah. He got enough information yes. about him. And so whenever we are evangelizing to people, we must have enough information come on yes. to give them about God yes. that when they are preaching this and our information they can get some result yes. All right. so the Bible said listen what the Bible said he heard yes. so he believed the report yes. Yes. what he heard and that is something that we have to do yes. in order to believe to, to receive from God we get nothing out of God without faith. That's right. Amen. I said we get nothing out of him without faith. Yes. We, the Bible didn't leave it optional in Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. For he that cometh to God must Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. That God is. And that God is a reward of those who diligently. I want to emphasize on the word diligently, earnestly, sincerely. Come on. See him. He will reward you. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Somebody worship God in this place. Hallelujah. We are going to look at the word of God tonight. And when you walk out of here, whatever the need, uh, you are going to receive from God. If you grasp the word tonight. Amen. And so we must come to church with a mindset. When I got filled in the Holy Ghost, I came to church with a mindset to be filled. So much that I ran three miles. Oh. Amen. Oh. Took off my shirt and ran three miles. Oh. I was seeing something good oh. is going to happen to me oh. this very night. Come on. Not tomorrow. This very night. Oh. Hallelujah. I went to church oh. with a desire to be blessed. And when you go in a desire, nothing can distract you. Come on, somebody. When you're going to focus on the source of your blessing, or you're going to seek him with all your heart. Because that's what the Bible calls hunger and thirst. Oh, hallelujah. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst. My God, the operative word here is hope and verse. A desire to receive. 
and that drives you into a state of desperation yes. and nothing can stop you. Right. So blind Martinez, believe yes. the report. Yes. All that you're going to receive from God, rest on your level of belief yes. in God. Yes. Just matter what it is. And so he believed the report. Having believed the report, he positioned himself. Come on now. Yes. Faith begin to arise now. You know. yes. He believes the report while you're not here. He start acting upon what he believed. Yes. By moving geographically yes. from where he was. Come on. Yes. One, he believed Jesus is going to pass by. Yes. So I position myself. Come on. Yes. Where Jesus is going to pass. Oh my, 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 my. Hallelujah. You can't go to dance hall and, and club and party. Come on. To get filled with the Holy Ghost. You have to position yourself. If you want a blessing, you come to church. You want a blessing, you praise the Lord. You want a blessing, you come out of God's people. And so you have to know how to position yourself. A young man said to me once, I think it was in Britain, we had a tent and he said to me, um, he came to church so I would convince him. I told him I didn't do a, do a good job because he was not convinced. However, to cut a long story short, he said he was searching the origin for the origin of God. And until he finds the origin of God in can't believe. I said, you, nobody knows that. And so I asked him, where were you searching to find God? So he was searching in an encyclopedia. I said, man, I said, man, you, you, you sound like a man comes to a house and you don't know the difference between the bathroom and the, and the and kitchen. I said, you're going to lift up the toilet bowl and look for your, your dinner. And you should be in the kitchen. I said, food prepared in kitchen. Bathroom is where the waste comes. Come on, man. If you want God, come on, your position. Hallelujah. Oh, God help me tonight. Hallelujah. And you see, I was in anger. A gentleman said to me, he wants to get in touch with my God. He would love to write him. So I should give him God's address. Oh, Lord. So I said, you want to write it? He says, yes. I said, all right. Just write the letter. Seal it and drop address it to God and drop it anywhere. <laughs> oh, God. He said, what do you mean? I said, he's omnipotent. He's omnipresent. He lives and oh God. He's everywhere. And so let your graphical position sometimes doesn't matter, but how you position yourself mentally. Come on, man. Lord, help me, somebody. Oh, boy. Listen, believers. Over 75 percent of the time, when you come to church, the reason why we are not blessed is because we are not positioned mentally. We are in church worrying about the bills. Yeah. We are in church worrying about the job. Yeah. We are in church worrying more about, about what God didn't promise us. Yeah. We must position ourselves, bring our minds, bring our thoughts, bring our spirit into the sea of grace. Come on, man. Hallelujah. And we must position our faith in the right channel. And so he positioned himself because he believed. He moved from where he was. Asked them to lead him for the last time. Yes. Yes. And positioned him yes. on the highway. Yes. And said to himself, I'm not begging a kind today. No, sir. I'm asking for a cure. Hallelujah. Yes. I am not asking for a kind. The days of begging is over. Yeah. My God, I'm asking for a cure, not a kind. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Oh, help me, somebody. Hallelujah. Yeah. Peter said to the crippled man, Say, I'm going to lie down. 
What you need is not a time. It's a true heart. The begging is a curse. Come on, somebody. Am I talking to everybody in the house? And so, he positioned himself. Thirdly, he acknowledged his heart. He acknowledged that he was blind right. by asking persons to lead him yeah. to the main highway. 